G'day, welcome to Washrider TV. Today we're looking at how to fit the Roman Kayaks Portage Handle. So I've already had two uh, fitted on my kayak here, and I've just taken one to show you how to do it today. Taken off one to show you how to do it today. What you're looking for is a portage handle which levels the boat, how you like it through the portage as you're carrying it, and nice, nicely so you can hold it without getting your hands stuck in it and actually have control of your boat while you're going through the portage. The beauty of these Roman kayak handles is they're nice and stiff, so as you're moving your hand, you can easily direct the boat to go between people if you have to weave through feeding stations, or even just move the boat so that when the water's moving around inside of it as well, you can easily control it. So the first thing you want to do is work out the sweet spot for your kayak. Now I'm sitting on a slope right here now, but what you want to do is you want to work out where you can hold your cockpit and have the kayak level. And I personally like it so my cockpit, the nose is just slightly up. So as I'm running through a portage, the tail will be touching the ground, but all the water's running to the back. So if I hold like this, the kayak's level at the moment. But as soon as I move my hand just a little forward, where I want my portage handle to be, between these two pre-drills, it brings the nose up and what that means is all the water will run to the back and then I can quickly empty out when I get to the end of a portage and then drop it down in the water to go again. So once you've worked out your sweet spot, whether you like your boat perfectly straight or slightly up at the front, mark it with a little bit of tape and that'll be your centre point. Then similarly with your portage handle, use the logo there just to match up with that little bit of tape. The portage handles you'll get in the pack will be straight, so what you want to do is give it a nice little bend, preferably just over your knee, that's all the pressure which you'll need. So you want to bend it out this way and then give it a bit of a harbour bridge over that way, okay? So bend it a little bit that way and then just holding the ends and push down onto it, give it a little bit there and you'll get a nice curve like this. Okay, so once you've bent the portage handle into the shape you want. You want to prepare the ends, so they'll come out like this and you'll just simply want to get a pair of flat nosed pliers and squish it down and make sure just on this side of the hole you squish it down a little more. That's to give the washer a bit more purchase on the handle so it can hold it down tightly. I'll do the same with this end, nice and flat there. and you've bent your handle, that's when you go to drill, not before. And just do one drill hole at a time. So what you do is you come in, drill one hole, put it in, and then you come over to the next one, just grab it, slide it through, Alright, and all you'll need to tighten it is an adjustable spanner or a little ring spanner and a flathead screwdriver. Now, some people like having it on the cockpit here, on the edge, on the rim. Other people like having it on the actual uh, on the actual outside here of the hull. My preference is for on the cockpit because if it's going to bust off it's a much easier repair job and all you have to do is move it further along if it did break out. The washers though will keep it nice and steady and disperse the pressure there so you shouldn't have any problems. Happy kayaking!